गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट इनिशिएशन ऑफ यूकैरियोटिक ट्रांसलेशन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो बेसिकली हियर वी हैव द राइबोसोम एंड यूकैरियोटिक राइबोसोम हैज टू सब यूनिट्स द लार्ज सब यूनिट इज सिक्सटी एस and the small sub unit is 40s and the ribosome contains three pockets e p and a and this is the mrna so what happens the initiation factor e i f 1 a e i f 1 a binds the a site of small ribosomal subunit so this is the small ribosomal subunit here at the a site this initiation factor 1a binds and initiation factor e if3 binds its e site e if3 binds its e site their binding release the large ribosomal subunit that is 60s subunit so here 60s subunit is released and only small ribosomal subunit is there the a site is occupied by e i f 1a and e site is occupied by e i f 3 i f means initiation factor okay now two gtp binding proteins will come eif2 and eif 5b eif2 and eif 5b these two are gtp binding proteins they will also come here why actually they mediate the recruitment of the charged initiator trna to the p site so in this p site the charged initiator trna should come right because this initiator trna will start the translation process and it is charged since it has the amino acid and this eif2 and eif5b these two help this initiator trna to fit the p site okay okay and for eukaryotes this trna is charged with methionine the amino acid that is linked with this trna is nothing but methionine and it is referred to as met trna i for initiation so met trna i met okay uh in case of prokaryotes we have seen it was formal methionine but in case of eukaryotes it is only methionine and together they form the 43s pre initiation complex so here the eif1 a is present eif3 is present eif2 is present eif5 b is present and the trna along with methionine is present and this is 43s pre initiation complex now we will see what happens in the mrna so basically uh, e if 4f this is another initiation factor it binds to the 5 prime cap of mrna so in eukaryotes we know the mrna contains a cap in its 5 prime end and the cap is nothing but 7 methyl guanosin so this cap is now bound by this initiation factor eif 4f okay okay here is the start code on aug next uh, this eif 4f is composed of three proteins such as eif 4a eif 4e and eif 4g so basically three proteins are there in this complex and they all together uh, we call them eif 4f next step and this complex is joined by 
another initiation factor that is EIF4B. So here EIF4B will also come. So here we have EIF4F and EIF4B. All are there in the 5 prime end of mRNA. Now uh, what's the role of this EIF4B? Basically it activates an RNA helicase in one of the EIF4F subunits. So we know that it has three protein subunits, right? And one of them has helicase activity. So basically this EIF4B uh, activates the helicase activity of that protein. And helicase activity is also required here. So you might be surprised that uh, mRNA is single stranded. Then why helicase activity is required here? So basically mRNA has many secondary structures like this. Many hairpins, many loops, many secondary structures are there. So that helicase activity is required to open those secondary structures. Okay. And Helicase unwinds any secondary structure such as hairpin that may have formed in the mRNA. And this mRNA now recruits the 43S pre-initiation complex. So here we have 43S pre-initiation complex. Here we have the mRNA along with EIF4F and EIF4B. Uh, so they, uh, this mRNA recruits this 43S pre-initiation complex complex. So here is the binding. Okay. Now 43S complex begins the scanning of mRNA from 5 prime to 3 prime looking for the first AUG or start codon. So it will start to scan the mRNA. Where is the start codon? So here is the start codon. So it will scan the mRNA and it will find the start codon that is AUG. Okay. Now, once the 43A scanning complex has found a start codon, just like this, GTP hydrolysis takes place and the initiation factors drop off and the large ribosomal subunit arrives to form an ATS initiation complex. So basically, once the RNA finds the start codon, then what will happen? All the transcription factors will be released from this and GTP hydrolysis occurs to mediate this event. So now GTP are hydrolyzed into GDP and PI. We have seen that uh, EIF2 and EIF5B, these two were GTP binding proteins, right? Now GTP hydrolysis takes place and GDP and PI will be formed and along with these, all the factors will drop off. And now the complex is called ATS initiation complex. So here the two ribosomal subunits are there and the tRNA is there. This is the initiated tRNA. It is there. It is complementary to the start codon AUG, right? This is ATS initiation complex. So this is all about the initiation of eukaryotic translation. And this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.